Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I'm super excited to have Danielle with us from um, FNG. Um, it's been an uh, I'm looking forward to some of their um, upcoming news um, to share with you this morning. Hopefully, you get a lot out of that. Um, as we start, I'm just going to give a brief intro to IMS, and then I will switch over um, the presentation for Danielle. We have, I mean, sounds like we have a lot of great things to cover in the next hour. Um, you know, on the call today, when I look at the who's registered, we have a mix. There's um, brand new producers that have not done business with us before, maybe shopping around for an IMO. We also have our seasoned agents that have been with us. Um, but we always want to get a good start with our new agents. So we do have a new producer builder program. So um, if you are new to IMS. In the first six months, if you meet certain production levels, we are going to get um, payouts back to you. So, for example, if you did 100,000 in annuities that, and you wanted to cash out, you could cash out and get an iPad, $750 um, in cash, et cetera. Um, or, you know, you could get up to the level of 750000 which gives you the option with retirement boss radio, seminars, et cetera. So, um, keep that in mind as um, new producers. Uh, our business isn't much different than yours in that we, um, the, our best agents that we get are from referral, which I would assume you would also agree that your best clients are from referral. So um, with that in mind, IMS does do a referral bonus for agents that you were refer to us. Um, it's $50 one-time bonus for each of those agents. And then a small um, trail on all of the um, business that they're writing with us. Um, that isn't a haircut to their commissions. Um, that comes out of IMS pocket, and we take care of all of that for you. Um, we also know that you have to keep the um, pipeline going with um, sales, and we try to do that with marketing reimbursement. So, with every hundred thousand of annuity premium, we are going to give a hundred dollars in marketing reimbursement for single premium life. That's going to be for every hundred thousand, two hundred dollars of marketing uh, dollars, and then for um, target life, it's going to be uh, two hundred for every ten thousand. Uh, we are a full service, best in class. Um, independent marketing organization. So we handle all aspects of your business. Um, usually that starts with case design with one of your sales directors um, to getting that business in the door to um, you know, watching that business from start to finish to make sure it gets placed and you get paid. Um, in our business, we, aren't, we don't make any money unless you're making money. So we have a very, um, very much motivated to make sure that we get business in the door and out as soon as possible. Um, one of the ways that we're able to do that, and this is probably generated more from COVID than anything, is different platforms to um, do e-applications. Um, one of those applications is going to be Firelight. Um, as you can see, we have several um, annuity carriers that will use Firelight. This is a great platform because it does cut down on mistakes with applications and the speed of getting business placed. Um, on the life insurance side, uh, there are a few companies with Firelight, um, but we have more on the um, IGO eApp for um, the life insurance platform. And again, you know, with Post-COVID, um, I think it generated digital placing business uh, much more so, and I think it was a good um, lesson for us all to learn about the speed of business and using these types of applications um, to get business in and out the door. Um, we do have a full um, creative marketing team. Um, they can do anything from handouts to designing logos, business cards, digital media, et cetera. If you haven't, um, if you're new or you, um, even an, an existing um, producer that you have that's with us, 
Um, if you have not done our marketing analysis, I would highly recommend it. It's a free service. You can get that marketing analysis from any of the um, sales directors. That um, gives us a good picture about of like where you are in the business right now, what you want your business to look like. And then our creative team looks at those and comes up with a plan to get you from point A to point B. Um, I would highly recommend, if you have not registered for our website, that you do so at imsinc.com. There is a ton of information out there. Um, of course, there's simple things that you can use, like the term quote engine. You can get um, forms online, et cetera. But there's a sales resource library that if you ever have time to play around with the website, I highly recommend looking at. There is just a ton of information from PowerPoint presentations to different calc calculators and so forth. So um, do, if you have time, you know, spend 10 minutes or so poking around with our website because it does have a lot of great information. Um, we do have our retirement analyzer. Uh, you know, we, we do a lot of things with our clients to help them get to the point that they can retire. Retirement Analyzer is a great way to mathematically test what somebody is doing for planning in the future for retirement, you know, what they're doing with their 401ks, their 403bs, IRAs, um, annuities, et cetera. And what does that really look like when we get to the point that we want to retire? And are we, you know, more importantly, are we going to end up outliving our retirement or do we need to make some adjustments now to make sure that we have enough money to retire when we want to. Um, in addition to that, we also have a Stonewood um, platform that does a great job of analyzing um, IUL as a separate asset class uh, for you to um, utilize a, as a form or a, um, a tool for retirement planning as well. Um, of course, we have IMS wealth management. Um, if you have it, if you're managing um, assets under management right now, IMS is. I definitely would recommend you look into IMS. Um, or if you're just thinking that you want to get started with that with your Series 65, um, our wealth management team can um, help you from um, point A to point B to get that set up. Throughout the year with IMS, we um, like to do our life and annuity academies. We just wrapped one up in April in Des Moines. We've got another one coming up here in May in Chicago. And then this summer, I know that there is another one that we've got um, coming up. So if you're interested in any of that, I would talk with one of your life insurance sales directors and see which ones, which dates. Um, would work for you, um, but you definitely want to talk with either your, your annuity or life insurance director. Um, we are um, have a little bit of a change of plans in our trip. Um, if you had noticed earlier in the year, we were it was going to be a cruise, and because of COVID and also um, just things that are happening in the world, that trip wasn't going to be doable. So what they um, came up with is the Green Bar Briar Getaway. I don't know if you um, have ever heard of that place before, but if you Google it, the, the property is absolutely gorgeous. Um, that's $4 million to qualify, um, and we still have time. Um, qualification ends June 30th, and then the trip would be in October. Um, as always, you know, um, the easiest way to keep in touch with us and know what's new in the industry is to like us on Facebook and LinkedIn. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and switch this over to Danielle. Um, All right. Thank you. Um, here we go. Now I can show my screen. Good morning, everyone. Just give me a quick moment to pull up some slides here. And how about this. You can see my full screen now. I can see it. Okay, perfect. Um, alrighty. So good morning, everyone. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to join today's webinar. Um, I'm super excited to share 
quite a bit of information um, with you all during our time together. Also, I did want to call you to your attention. There is a chat box. If you have any questions along the way, please feel free to drop your questions in there. Um, we would love to help you with that. Um, and um, I just wanted to call out a couple of things. If you're interested in um, fidelity and guarantee, um, a couple of things that um, were just mentioned. Uh, Firelight, we are available also uh, via Firelight. So um, either through through our portal, our agent and agency portal called SalesLink, or um, we can open up that access on the back end um, at the agency level so that you all have um, that visibility to both our life and our annuity applications. Um, and then also uh, FNG does partner with Stonewood. So uh, if you happen to use that as a tool for your practice, um, we would be able to um, be um, included in um, the case designs that you're building through Stonewood. So to, during our time that we are spending today um, together, um, I wanted to highlight just a couple of our team members. Um, so the people component of us here at Fidelity and Guarantee to help serve you um, from a life insurance um, and an accumulation IUL perspective. We will focus uh, our time and we have a good deal of information to unpack when it comes to products. You are one of uh, very few distribution partners that really has access to our entire product suite. And so I hope that this will be a conversation that you can take back to, uh, for yourself or other team members and say, we've got all these tools. Uh, let's see you know, where maybe um, we can leverage those to maximize um, our client impacts um, with their portfolios. And then at the end, I'll also show you some tools uh, that you can take away with you today if you'd like to learn and go a little deeper um, than we're able to during our conversation. So a little bit about our life team. We've grown quite a bit. I joined Fidelity and Guarantee just over two years ago. At that point in time, we were five strong for the entire life distribution team. We've been a little bit heavier weighted historically on the annuity side, but we've been uh, diversifying uh, both um, by uh, growing our life presence um, and with with that, growing our distribution presence. So that's when I came on to lead our IMO brokerage uh, distribution. We previously had been very heavily weighted on the network and middle marketing side. And under Steve Sanders' um, direction, we've been able to take advantage of the opportunities we have with our product portfolio and extend that distribution footprint um, within the IMO brokerage um, channel and with partners like IMS. Um, I also wanted to uh, introduce uh, a newer resource uh, to help support us uh, for the team is Miles Brown. He is a national account manager that would be um, dedicated to dis distribution partners like IAMS um, as well. So together, we would be leading those independent uh, distribution efforts for the channel. Behind us, uh, we have an entire internal sales team. So we will finish the second quarter uh, with uh, total headcount for life at 16. So that just gives you an idea of our growth in sales and um, in our commitment to life distribution as a whole from five to 16 in, in less than two years. So really quite remarkable. So the product portfolio that we're gonna focus our conversation on today is, as I mentioned, quite unique. Our cornerstone product is going to be the path setter uh, fixed index annuity product. Um, we are an accumulation story as a whole, uh, as a carrier. Path setter will be the space chassis that we'll spend some time on. Then we're going to layer on some different enhancements. When we look at the Executex product, which is a rapid issue IUL experience, and then we also have trail setter available to you, which offers trail commission. So when you're kind of thinking about this, think of it as just kind of that, that base foundation uh, that is very strong with path setter. And then we can layer on uh, different, different aspects uh, for your practice, whether it, it be Executex or trail setter. So when we're thinking of this um, IUL suite, really when we're thinking of the unique features that that will translate through all the products. It will be the strong product performance um, driven by high caps, along with a reliable cap rate history. When you look at Path Setter's track record, so when you look at our cap rate, especially on Path Setter, um, in our participation rates and our and um, say how do they do it at Fidelity and Guarantee? I would like to call your attention to the strength that we get 
for uh, our general account and our partnership with Blackstone. So that's really how we manage a higher cap rate. It's not through additional risk. It's through a partnership with Blackstone who gives us access to higher quality, higher yielding debt. And then therefore we're able to translate it and, and deliver more to our policy owners with that value proposition. So we call that the Blackstone difference. I'm happy to unpack that a little bit um, more. It's a little bit longer of a conversation, but just know that we are getting that access to higher quality, higher yielding debt that then translates back into a higher performing product for our policy owners. We also offer on all of our products a top variable loan rate. So our variable loan rate or our participating rate, if you're looking at other carriers, is contractually guaranteed not to exceed 5%. That's actually where a lot of carriers are illustrating today is around 5%. And we contractually guarantee it will not exceed 5%. We're right around 3.5% um, in their current uh, environment. We follow the Moody's Corporate Bond Index. So when we're designing a product and we're illustrating income, looking ahead 10, 15, 20 years, your policy owner is locked in at 5%, right? So if interest rates go up to 7 or 8%, that's a value to them as a policy owner, right? That it's not going to exceed that 5% cap on that variable loan rate. We also offer volatility controlled strategies. So I'll dig into that. Um, our strategies have no cap or spread and they are eligible for a bonus. So I'll point those out depending on the product of what, um, what those bonuses are. They will vary slightly from product to product. We offer living benefits. So um, our all of our products will have living benefits packaged into them at no additional charge. I'll spend um, and highlight those along the way as well. And then when you're looking at your product portfolio, really think of it as, um, as available to you entirely exam free. Um, Executex will dive into its process. It offers actually um, next level underwriting with Insta approval. So I want you to kind of think of just why FNG. These are kind of the pillars of strength that we're going to offer across our product portfolio. And then now we're going to dive into what makes each one of these products unique. So our flagship IUL is the FNG Path Setter. She's I like to think of it as when we're looking at um, just a, a really tried and true product, really designed to give everything possible back to the policy owner, along with it, a transparent and consumer friendly design. Path Center will be issued through age aiding starting at face amounts of 50,000. Again, um, some of those niches include at that top variable loan rate. Um, but we also allow you to withdraw um, on our policies 20% surrender charge free. So let's say COVID hits and you needed access to your policy, you could withdraw up to 20% surrender charge free. On Path Setter, um, we offer a couple of account value enhancements. So we have a 1% no charge bonus on our SMP, our high cap, uh, excuse me, our high bonus SMP and our Barclay strategies. When I say bonus, what I want you to also walk away from today's conversation is that these are not multipliers or buy-up strategies. They are completely packaged at with no additional charge to our policy owners. Also on all of our policies, we offer a persistency bonus. So we offer a 25 basis point persistency bonus at years 11 and beyond on all of our products, on all of our policies. And then our floor um, on all of our policies is 25 basis points. So a lot of times we say zero is your hero. We're gonna give you a little bit more of a cushion with f g at 25 um, basis points, minimum guaranteed interest. When it comes to charges and expenses, I would put us on the moderate to low end. And then we also offer a 15 year um, no lapse guarantee with minimum premium, right? So very transparent, very consumer friendly um, with this design. When we dig into Path Setter's index crediting options, there's a couple that I want to highlight. So the first gray bar here is our high cap S&P. And so this is where we see that Blackstone difference reflected. We have a 12.5% cap rate. Um, it's When we say reliable cap rate history, to give you an idea of that, if we look back to 2012, we've had only 11 cap rate changes. We've always sat between 12 and a half and 15 and a half percent, and we've been able to move up over time. Um, right now, due to the interest rate environment, we've um, we were looking at 12 and a half percent on that high cap side. Our high bonus strategies are the green bars highlighted on this one. So we have a high bonus S&P. It offers that 9% um, cap rate with the 1% no charge bonus. 
And then the Barclays Trailblazer Sector 5, I like to call her the Bella the Ball. She's an annual point to point. She also is available on our annuity products. So you may have heard of the Barclays Trailblazer Sector 5 if you write any of our fixed index annuities. Uh, we have 145% participation rate on Barclays um, with, again, a 1% no charge bonus years to and beyond. She's uncapped, no spread. The most common question I receive is, hey, Danielle, I illustrated your Barclays Trailblazer Sectors 5 and I illustrated your S&P. I don't understand the illustrated rate on Barclays is lower than your high cap S&P, but it's outperforming. Remember on Path Center, we're going to have that 1% bonus kick in years two and beyond. So that will be reflected in your tabular detail and your income potential that you're illustrating um, with F and G. If you happen to write a face amount um, ages 18 through 45 um, and under 150,000, we'll have slightly different caps and pars uh, for that low band um, um, version of the product. Okay, so let's take a look at these numbers at work. And what I want you to remember is that we're exam free. I'll spend a little time kind of covering what exam free looks like um, later on. But when uh, we are truly exam free through age 60 through a million, and in this scenario, we have a 45 year old female. She's standard non tobacco. She's going to put in 20,000 over 10 years, and then she's going to take income from ages 65 to 90, utilizing the Barclays Trailblazer Sectors 5. So her initial death benefit, this is post 7702, um, her initial death benefit is just over 400,000. Her cash value projection at age 65 is over half a million. And she's gonna take income over those 25 years each year of almost 58,000. So she's put in 200,000 by age 100. She's gonna take a total income of 1.4, a million um, four hundred forty-eight thousand, and should she still live to be one hundred, she still has a residual death benefit of over nine hundred thousand. So you might say, yes, naturally this would be post seventy-seven oh two. Everybody has to have adapted um, that um, at the carrier level. What I would let you know is F and G also remained flexible here. So while we're looking at post seventy-seven oh two rates, where we are putting those premium dollars really towards those cash values. Should you also have a need for a higher death benefit, we also allow you in our software to still illustrate um, the old rates. So if you log in um, through our agent uh, portal sales link and you select our accumulation solves, we will still also allow you to illustrate the old rates. So we give you that flexibility to have that conversation with your policy owner, whether it's a death benefit um, conversation, we're going to be more focused there, or we want to focus um, around the cash values and the income potential. All right, so living benefit writer. So I fell in love with living benefits at my last carrier. I like to say I am a belt and suspenders girl. <laughs> so um, we have packaged up into paths that are um, all three of our living benefits, no additional charge. We're gonna offer you critical, terminal, and chronic illness. At their core, they allow, allow you to accelerate 100% of your death benefit through a million. And it's important um, to call out critical illness here. I know on a lot of base chassis um, from other carriers, um, they may carve out critical illness if it's a rated case or they may not have it available at all. On um, Pat Center, we're gonna have it um, available. We're gonna have actually all three living benefits offered to our policy owners through table four. Um, and I would say if you, are very interested in living benefits for your policy owners, we will go toe to toe to any carrier in the industry with our living benefit payouts. When we've done the analysis and the benchmarking to other carriers, um, we are going to offer you that potential as a policy owner to accelerate should you need to, right? In the event that you have a need. Um, chronic illness is also approved in California. It's a little bit different than the nationwide version. So the nationwide version you would certify annually and can accelerate up to 25%. So right over four years, you can get to that 100%. For California, it's an acceleration of 100% um, up to a million um, for a one time. So it would be um, one and done. Um, you could accelerate should you choose to do so for those California residents. <clears throat> okay, so Path Setter is available, um, and Path Setter and Trail Setter both are going to be available exam free. Um, with Executex, we'll take it next level and I'll dive into that. But what our exam free underwriting process 
allows for is it's going to be 100% exam free through age 60 through a million. 90% of these applicants are being approved standard or better, and our average turnaround time on exam free underwriting is seven calendar days or less. With Pathsetter, you've got a top performing um, product in the industry, um, and it's going to be easy, efficient, and hassle free. The way our exam free underwriting process works is we're going to um, receive those applications, um, preferably an e-application, right? Um, over 90% of our apps are um, written via e-application. We'll run the data um, if we need more information, depending on the results of um, those data checks. Uh, we may request a tele-interview for just a little bit more information. Um, and then a, in a very small percentage of cases, we may request an APS. Our overall APS rate is around 6% for all of our business including fully underwritten. So it is a small percentage of cases, but we will make the case work absolutely with no paramed through age 60 through a million. Um, and we even take it next level, as I mentioned, um, with Executex. So let's move on to Executex, right? How have we taken it next level, right? We're gonna offer with um, Executex, which is a product we recently um, expanded the distribution on. We had been beta testing it for the past year. And it's offering this point of sale decisioning, right, with Insta approval. And so think of this as we are sitting down for a cup of coffee and we know at the end of that beverage it has moved on to um, issue. It's also going to offer top of market performance, right? We're not going to sacrifice performance per, for process, right, where you may have seen that in the past we're still going to offer you that income potential um, in Executex along in a permanent product, right? So Executex will be available through a million and um, it also offers living benefits as well. So when we say Insta approval and we look at F&G's underwriting spectrum in comparison to other carriers in the marketplace, you've seen um, obviously fully underwritten and accelerated and non-med um, where we really lead the pack is exam free that I just explained um, with path setter and a trail setter and then with Executex we really have taken it next level with Insta approval. I'm going to walk you through what Insta approval looks like in a few slides but I really want you to kind of keep this in the, the back of your mind when you're looking at our processes especially at FNG in comparison to the, the other carriers in the field and we will continue to be committed to underwriting efficiencies um, with our product line. So we're not gonna stop here. There are plans actually to continue um, that momentum from an underwriting perspective so that we can case, get cases out the door and really get um, agents paid and also policy owners um, get their policies in, in, in place and enforced while the energy is still high, right? We don't lose that momentum over time um, where they may change their mind um, and decide to not um, go ahead and, um, and pay their premiums on these policies. So let's dig into the Executex products details and cover a little bit um, on how it performs, right? So with this product design on Executex and with its unique Insta approval process, we are going to issue it ages 18 through 60. Face amounts on Executex are 150 to a million. So uh, when we initially rolled out Executex, we had a little bit higher of a face amount limit. We have expanded that um, as of this spring. We have really opened it up with increased flexibility for you um, to be able to utilize it in the field as a tool. Executex is going to offer um, risk classes of express non-tobacco and express tobacco. And then we're going to keep it simple and familiar. On Executex, we're going to offer that Barclays Trailblazer Sectors 5 she has a 170% participation rate with Executex. Um, and again, at her core, she's a domestic volatility controlled strategy. Um, she'll give you access to all 10 sectors of the S&P plus real estate. And then she can flee to cash instruments if she needs to, right? If the underlying volatility exceeds 5% on any of the underlying ETFs, that's what she's designed to do. She'll go in protection mode for you. Our S&P cap on um, Executex is going to be 11.5%. And then our fixed interest on all of our products is going to be 4.75%. Again, it shows the reflection of our fixed account being so as high as it is. It's a reflection of the strength 
of our overall investment portfolio. That is what that is reflective of. Again, we're going to have that persistency bonus on Executex, 25 uh, basis points, years 11 and beyond, top variable loan rate of 5%, and that floor of 25 basis points as well. On Executex, the living benefit riders that are packaged into this product are going to be terminal and chronic illness as well. So we're delivering an entire um, strong package here, top of market performance, along with amazing process um, with flexibility for your policy owners. So what makes Executex sing? And that is thanks to some funding bonus riders that we have available on it. So think of this as a way to reward a policy owner um, for their commitment um, to Executex, right? So um, in funding their premiums on time. So it's important with Executex to um, remind a policy owner, hey, if you pay your premiums on time um, the, for the first seven years, and I'm going to explain this a little bit more, if you pay them on time, we're going to essentially um, reward that policy owner with a bonus in a way of variable bonus years 11 through 30 um, to their um, to their index crediting. So how does this work? So the way Executex has been built and designed is that um, if we are paying premiums um, the first seven years, and originally when it was designed, it was looking for paying premiums you know, on an annual basis or a, a, over a monthly basis for the first seven years, we've increased the flexibility there that if your seven, um, if your premiums for the sev first seven years, if you match that um, over a shorter pay of like a five pay. So right, so let's say you originally designed Executex to be um, paying twenty five thousand over seven years, but you decide to shorten that. You want to design it really. Let's pay it as a five pay, and we're going to pay thirty five thousand annually for the fi first five years. As long as you pay those premiums, we will then be eligible for a high bonus or a low bonus. So your high and low bonus premium ranges are included on your illustrations. And essentially, to give you an idea of what they are, the high bonus range is um, 75 basis points to over 2%. The low bonus range is at half of that, right? 38 basis points to just over 1%. But what we're looking at here is essentially a little a variable bonus rate by age and gender that can kick in. So this 40 year old female, she was expressed on tobacco, her high bonus rate is 1% is what we're rewarding her with additional account um, to their, her, um, to her index crediting years 11 through 30. So let's take a look at what this means, right? So um, Executex performance here, and we've had a slight shift here, right? There's been a lot of movement um, most recently. So actually some of these carriers, actually their max distributions have gone down. But if we look at this and what it means with Executex is on a 45-year-old male, he's um, non-tobacco. So we're benchmarking to other standard, fully underwritten products in the industry. We're going to put in $25,000. Um, it paid over 20 years to age 65 here. And then he's taking income from ages 66 through 85. So Executex, this is where we have that top of market um, performance with Executex in an instant decision product, right? We sat down over a cup of coffee, we've designed this product, and he's going to take advantage of the high funding bonus rider, right? He's paying his premiums as it, it's reflected in the illustration on time for those first, um, especially those first seven years. Um, and we've been able to generate income off of this of 92000 um, with an initial death benefit of 415,000. That's what we're looking at here um, on this 45 year old male. So how does the instant approval process work? So this is where we need a little help. We need a little field underwriting and we offer a ton of tools on the Executex product site for you. But when you step into the e-application for Executex, we're gonna complete a pre-screening component. And so the pre-screening is really just kind of an initial fact finder. It's 11 questions where we're, look, we're asking yes, no questions, right? And we're really looking for a no here, right? So the total enforced coverage with FNG cannot exceed a million. We're looking for uh, US citizens and green card holders and somebody that's employed um, full-time. And what we mean by that is, are they working 30 or more hours per week? Um, unfortunately, felons, um, somebody with a felony history is not a match with Executex. I've had that question before. Somebody that had served time a long time ago and was now successful, Executex would not be a match for this individual. 
Um, we ask, um, you know, a little bit about their build. I would say our build is extremely flexible. We do publish that, and um, we have that available on the product site as well. So if we get a no to all these questions, then they say, you get um, a pop-up saying, you know, congratulations, we can now move into the Executex um, e-application. If it had been a yes to any of those questions, it just simply states Executex wasn't a match for that individual. You know, please consider another FNG product, right? Um, we're running a ton of data on this particular product, um, but that does not mean that they would not be eligible for another product with FNG. So we now step into the application portion. Portion that was pre-screening. Hey, you know, do we want to continue this conversation? And yes, we do. So think of this experience now as a reverse-engineered um, application, where we are more heavily weighting the Part B information on the front end, so, and then uh, that's going to be what we complete in Section One. And we're signing twice. And you may say, why do we sign twice? And that's because since we are running the data while we complete the Part A information, while we're running that medical history, we need to sign that HIPAA authorization at that point in time after the first section. Then that information is running, and then we can step into the part, the typical Part A information during this, the second section of this application, and we're completing beneficiary information, selecting the strategies, all that good stuff. And then we know at the end of this process, we submit this individual again, over this cup of coffee, um, has moved on to issues right then and there on the spot. Um, there's a small percentage of cases that can kick out um, to underwriting for additional review. Um, it just may be dependent on what comes back um, when we're running um, the data for this particular product, right? But the throughput of this, the anticipated throughput on Executex is 70% of applicants. We will know at the end of that application that they will move on to issue. Underwriting states that if we actually have um, you know, really clean field underwriting on this one, we could even take that up to 85% move on without um, underwriting um, review or intervention. So moving on, I know I've covered a lot. We've covered path setter, right? Um, as that base chassis, we kind of layer on that Insta approval. We don't kind of, we layer on the Insta approval experience and, um, and the funding bonus writer really that make it unique um, with Executex. Now we want to take it to a, um, a product that is um, a new, another tool where you can help monetize or annuitize your practice, right? So Executex and PathSetter are going to be traditional heat compensation products, but what if I have a tool where you can um, build a, a recurring revenue stream for your practice, um, uh, whether you're planning on succession planning, um, or you want to sell your practice at a later point in time, what if we could offer you that as well with Trail Setter, where you don't have to start over come January 1st of every year, you know you've got that residual income coming into um, your, your income stream and also rewarding you for your ongoing um, service um, for, in your practice, right? It's not one and done with these policy owners. We stay in touch with them. We want to um, come back and offer them that service and those annual policy reviews and see if there's anything more that we can help them with with their entire portfolio. So Trail Setter, again, top of market performance um, with this unique commission option. On Trail Setter, we will be exam free. Uh, through a million. Um, we raised it late last year from age 50 to age 60 with our exam free process, along with living benefits. And then on Trail Setter, for the first time ever, we're going to offer our balance asset five and balance asset 10 with volatility controlled indices. So if you also happen to be writing our fixed in, um, index uh, annuities, um, you may be familiar with these strategies. We have them available exclusively on Trail Setter. So let's look at trail setter performance and it will impress, right? There's been other trail setter products in the industry in the past where they may have been a little bit more front loaded on their performance, their income um, potential for the policy owners. Um, actually on trail setter, we've extended it with its design um, to where it can even exceed path setter, which is a top of market performing product. Trail setter can um, over time exceed that. So. In this example, this um, this is a 45-year-old um, female. She's going to be premier non-tobacco, and she's going to put in 20,000 over 20 years. 
per um, cash value is going to be um, 800,000 um, with an annual uh, distribution of 92,000 um, from, and the, um, that's going to be over 20 years is typically when we benchmark these, it'll be 20 years from ages um, 66 through 80 when we're looking at that annual distribution um, here on this design. So how, let's talk about commissions. What do we mean when we're saying um, how the commissions are structured? And you're going to be eligible for two di different commission streams on trail setter. So you're, it, the spread commission level for an agent is nine and a half percent. You might say, how does that work? So your commissions are going to be paid um, at nine and a half percent during premium policy years through year 20. So let's just say on that last example, we were looking at um, funding of, she was putting in 20,000 over 20 years, you would get nine and a half percent of those premiums paid, those 20 thousand um, dollars of premiums paid every year through year 20 on that particular design. In addition to that, you're going to have an account value based trail commission. So beginning in year two, you, go, you are going to receive 20 basis points of the policy's account value on top of that for the life of the policy. And that particular account value-based uh, tra trail commission is gonna be paid to you quarterly, right? So you're going to have a one-two punch here with the, the um, premium commission, premium-based commission, and then the account value-based tra uh, trail commission for you. And that account value um, trail commission will be for the life of the policy as well. Okay, so the index crediting options on um, trail setter, we are going to offer you our, um, so all of the strategies on Trail Setter will offer you a no charge bonus. Our SMP has that 9% cap with a 1.25% bonus. Uh, these bonuses will be years two and beyond. Um, the balance asset five will offer 150% participation rate with a 1.5% um, bonus. Again, no cap, no spread. And then the balance asset 10, um, has that 70% participation rate with a 1.75% bonus. So when we're thinking of the balance asset five and the balance asset 10 strategies, they're going to be simple and familiar as well. It's a 60-40 blend, right? Equity and fixed income utilizing BlackRock ETFs. What they can do though um, at CIBC is the asset manager that has created these strategies. What they can do is they can leverage and they can increase the leverage um, if you happen to have underperformance. So what we mean by this is let's say that the balance asset 10, it's um, the volatility is 20%. So when they leverage, they can, they can bring down that the exposure to those ETFs to 10% to be in line. But also conversely, let's say that it's um, the volatility is at 5%, you've got the balance asset 10, they can extend that leverage up to 10% so that you are having that performance, you're being able to take a, uh, advantage of that with these strategies. So that is unique to these two and the way they operate, um, which offers really competitive um, performance on both of those um, strategies along with the, the no charge bonuses here. Okay, so again, Trail Center is going to be available exam free. It's a little bit different on the underwriting classes on Trail Center. Um, so on Trail Center, um, you will have um, Premier, which is a blend of standard and preferred. There really wasn't a lot of pricing difference uh, between the two. Don't get worried when you hear blend there. Um, it allows us to actually um, have expanded um, flexibility in the product for the policy owners ages 18 through 60 because trail setter is going to be issued for um, adult ages um, starting at age 18 and then again um, exam free underwriting no paramed no fluids um, we may request that tele interview and then um, possibly uh, for small percentage of cases and APS but we're going to make it work with what we have in house without having to do those medical exams okay so let's look at a at a quick case study here on Trail Setter to give you an idea of the numbers, right? That's where we really want to kind of put our money where our mouth is for you. So this is going to be a seven pay 
um, with max funding on Trail Setter on a 65 year old male. He's going to be premier on tobacco and he's putting in 30,000 over seven years, utilizing the balance asset 10 strategy with that 1.75% bonus. His initial death benefit is going to be 281,000. His um, by age 75, his cash value projection is just over um, 250,000. By age 85, almost 600,000. Um, the guaranteed death benefit on this one will take us to age 80, um, and then the non-guaranteed um, column, if you're looking at the illustrations, will be to age 120. The commissions over the life of this policy over 20 years, he would have uh, the the agent would have earned um, just close to 31,000 um, on projected commissions on Trail Setter. So this particular policy owner put in total premiums of 210,000. A cash value would have been um, just over 2.1 million on um, on a 65 year old male, right? So a little bit older age, showing the the power of Trail Setter. And I have had a number of agents that actually have been taking advantage of Trail Setter for their practice um, and really designing it with some of these older age um, insureds and taking advantage of that um, with the particular design on Trail Setter. So Trail Setter, um, just a couple last minute um, items here. I know we've gone in a little bit reverse order on Trail Setter with this conversation than some of the other products. We're gonna issue at adults ages 18 through 80, starting at face amounts of 150,000. We have that top variable loan rate um, as well as allow you to withdraw 20% surrender charge free. Um, we offer the persistency bonus again of 25 basis points, years 11 and beyond. Um, Charges and expenses again on the moderate to low end, no lapse guarantee on all of our products, uh, 15 years with minimum premium, and the underwriting class is exam free through ages 18 through 60, um, base amounts 150 through a million, um, and we offer that premier um, non-tobacco um, as our um, underwriting class and then express standard um, as well with Trail Setter. So let me give you just a couple of, um, I'll be really quick here, but um, one of the things that we get asked for frequently is where can I find more information? And so when you're looking at FNG, first of all, I want to ask you to reach out um, to the team at IMS, right? You've got a dedicated team that um, is familiar with FNG. If you're not already appointed um, with FNG through IMS, I would also ask for you to do so because if you're not appointed, you're not going to have access to, um, to the products and being able to illustrate and um, and look at the applications um, through our portal. Um, we offer a few microsites. <clears throat> uh, Pathsetter also has another um, product available um, on the product site called Everlast. Um, we didn't spend any time on her today. Essentially, Everlast is a little bit more of a death benefit uh, play historically, slightly different caps and pars. The current design on Pathsetter has exceeded um, Everlast, um, where it might have. Um, um, been utilized in the past, but I do have a number of agents that do also utilize Everlast in their practice. Um, we offer microsites, product sites with no password required. So if you can humor me with these URLs, because I know they're unique, uh, just remember no password required. Uh, so success.fglife.com forward slash life dash insurance. That will take you to the information on paths that are we have a slew of information that you don't see in the screenshot here, um, whether it's um, being familiar with our exam-free underwriting, our e-application, our illustrations, tons of good information on here, as well as on-demand trainings from our teams. Um, Executex, the similar URL, it's success.fglife.com forward slash Executex. What I would call to your attention here is the pre-screening um, uh, resources we have available. So really um, getting familiar with some of the questions that are asked, that just might be helpful in your fact finding before you even step into the e-application. If you want to kind of gauge if a particular policy owner might be a match for Executex, right? So we have all of this information available and turnkey for you on Executex as well as Trail Setter. So success.fglife.com forward slash life dash insurance so that's the path setter URL. And then for trail setter, you would just say forward slash trail setter. It'll have um, more information on the strategies available here, as well as um, underwriting information. Um, the at a glance resources for all the products are probably my top resource to go to. You would have that available on all three as well. So I know I've spoken for um, quite a bit here. Um, um, what I just I want to close today's conversation with is with FNG, we have these strong 
product performance strong performing products, right? Driven by high caps, great participation rates, but we also have a reliable history with those. We offer this top variable loan rate contractually guaranteed on all products not to exceed 5%. We have proprietary volatility controlled strategies with no cap or spreads, um, along with bonuses available, um, living benefits, um, as well as exam-free underwriting, right? Where we are exam-free on, um, Path setter and trail setter, we take it next level with that instant approval process on Executex. Um, my ask of you today is next time you have an accumulation IUL sale to please look at us at FNG. We would love to earn your business. We have an entire team here to support your needs, as well as um, our partners at IAMS. And with that, I will pause and see um, who has the first question and, um, and see if I can help answer anything while we have some time together today. Beth, were there any questions? I don't see any questions. Um, we'll see if a couple um, pop up while um, sure. I'm doing while we're we've got a little bit of time here. I'll um, go with the polling questions. So um, the first is if you would like to be get contracted with um, FNG. Can you see that, um, Daniel? Oh, I, um, I'm sorry, I can't. Um, um, but let me see here. Let me see if I am missing. Oh, I think they. It looks like they can see it because I'm getting some okay. polling. Do you want me to give presenter rights back to you? Oh, I don't think you need to. It's okay. All right, we will go to our next question. Do you have any prospects in mind who might be suited for any of these products? Mm -hmm. So we'll go with the last question here. Well, Danielle, I am very appreciative of the time that you spent with us um, today. I know that I learned a lot. Um, I think that um, that platform that you have with the underwriting is a huge deal. Um, so I know that um, that is going to definitely come up in conversation. So I, um, again, I really appreciate you being here. Um, anything else that you would like to add? No, thanks everybody. Really appreciate your time. We appreciate the opportunity to IMS to share more about our story. Uh, we're happy to hop on any other time too and uh, go a little deeper. Uh, if we can help support those efforts in any way, uh, feel free to let me know and uh, have a great rest of your week. You too. Thank you.